Sometimes you just You just have to come and talk to your own people, you know And stop blaming everybody else for Your condition or your problem I'm just saying Con. Boy, if black people love freedom like they love chicken Black ice, black ice, black ice. When black people love freedom like they love chicken We will begin to search and research who we are And where we come from as a people in a nation, we would drop the last name of our slave masters and call ourselves what God called us by, Israel. He said, if my people which are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, seek my face, turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear their prayers and heal their land. See, y'all have got to understand. When black people love freedom like they love chicken, we will stop looking for handouts, but look for a hand up. To become independent and self-sufficient. Buy from us, sell to us, and hire us. Y'all may not know, but I got my start in 1991 with this guy right here. His name is James Martin. He used to be one of the slick, well he still is, one of the slick boys, the three Chicago police officers that used to rap. You may not know, but the, to, the movie that you used to watch called New York Undercover, it came from them. It didn't come from New York. It came from this guy right here and two other guys. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. Um, thank you all for having me out. I am Alder Woman Jeanette Taylor, and I represent the 20th Ward. And so it's important to me that we do activities this way. Um, we all know what's going on in our city, and the only way that we fix it is if we work together. And so if COVID-19 hasn't taught you anything, we don't have the luxury not to do that anymore. And so I'm here. Um, I'll be here for a while. Feel free to come ask questions. I do have my business card. If you all don't know, the office is 5707 South Whitworth. We're there Monday and Tuesday from 10 to 3. And then Saturday, we have open hours from 2 to 7.30 p.m. I want to thank Brother Andre for having me out. You all have a good night. Y'all so beautiful. And it's such a beautiful thing in our sight. How many people love our city, Chicago, right now? Make some noise if you love Chicago. There's a couple of things going on in Chicago. I'm part of a movement called Black Heroes Matter, and we're the ones that's fighting for Outer Lakeshore Drive to be renamed Jean Baptiste Dusabo Drive. How many people know who Jean Baptiste Dusabo, Point Dusabo is? Clap your hands. He was the black man who founded this city that we call Chicago today. He has no major street, he has no holiday, and he has no monument in his honor. And if he was a white man, he would have all of those things. So we want to thank the aldermen for being in support of that. And we want to encourage you to put pressure on all of the aldermen and the mayor to make this thing a reality. Now, how many people are glad that they finally passed the law to celebrate Juneteenth, y'all, by round of applause? Juneteenth. The Emancipation Proclamation went into effect in 1863, which freed our people from slavery. But in Texas, somebody say in Texas. In Texas, the slave owners didn't want to let us go. So it wasn't until two years later, in 1865, that finally the last slaves were freed from slavery on June 19th, which is tomorrow. Somebody say June 10th. So now that the history lesson is over, let's get back to the business of why we here in Chicago. How many people, by round of applause, want the violence in Chicago to stop? We need it to stop. Somebody say, stop the violence. Put the guns down. Stop the violence. Put the guns down. Can I share with y'all a piece about Chicago? This is about my city. Chicago. Already over a thousand people shot this year. Do your math, it's more than double the days there are in a year. Mothers fear their babies not making it home from school. 
Unemployed brothers ain't got time to look for a job, but got time to be on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, acting a fool. And these gays out here ain't following no rules. They ain't got no structure, but they knew exactly what they were doing when they denied parole for Jeff Ford and Larry Hoover. See, there's an old saying, cut off the head and the body would fall. Let this be a lesson to all y'all, and I'm appalled that some of these Chicago artists who boast to the world on how their lyrics be so cold. And some of them will get right on stage and talk about how God saved their soul. But won't get out here on none of these streets or go to none of these schools to even try to save just one soul. And the church, if you're really there to help save lives, then let me make a proposal. If the church you attend ain't involved in community affairs to help save lives, then stop paying your tithes. And as for the Black Lives Matter movement, you didn't think I was going to let you off the hook, did you? I believe that black lives matter, but when the black lives going to matter to black people? March in the hood like you do downtown. Shut down some of these gas stations and liquor stores that have become breeding grounds for our babies to get shot down like you do those businesses on Black Friday downtown, Chicago. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is your boy, King of Poetry, Black Ice, and I'm right here with Keisha, who just saw me perform on stage. And um, when I came off stage um, here at this beautiful community event, she had something she wanted to tell me. So I said, hey, I'm going to let her tell you all. Go ahead. Black Ice was the truth. He spoke the truth. I felt his truth. And there was nothing that I could disagree with what he, he put to us tonight. He actually challenged us. He gave us a call to action. So I hope that those of you who are listening to me now, listen to him and listen to his words and take his words and put it in action. And I thank you. He blessed my soul. I hope he blesses yours. Thank you so much, Kathy. At the end of the day, that day that the moment of the Gentiles be fulfilled, on that dark and gloomy day, at the last trump, he's coming. The God of this world has reigned since the fall of man, doing whatever he can to stand between us and our God. Temptation makes it hard to stay on the straight path. Satan may think he's winning, but my God will have the last laugh. I brag on his mercy and grace, the day that he shined upon my face, giving me a taste of his Holy Spirit. I feel different whenever I'm near it. Can you hear it? The trumpets are blowing. My God is all seeing and all knowing. The devil knows that he has but a short time. The things that you are witnessing today are all falling in line with God's design. And those with faith don't panic. And true believers don't get friendly. We already know we're winning. Cause God called the end from the beginning. Even if you are sinning, there's time for you to repent. Jesus was heaven sent. Died for our sins and all he wants us to do.